Sabrina, and today I'm going to show you how to make a ballet doll with a fringe trim skirt. In addition to the head bead, half pipe cleaner, and clothespin you need for the basic clothespin doll tutorial linked below, you will also be needing a pair of scissors, a ruler, approximately two and a half to three inches of fringe trim, at least five inches of half inch wide ribbon, and if you use a narrow ribbon that's just fine, but you might be needing a little bit more ribbon, and if uh, optionally, you can also have uh, some acrylic gems like these for the doll's hair and a contrasting ribbon in the doll's bodice. And finally, you will be needing hot glue. You'll also be needing paint, sharpie, or a colored pencil to color in the hair of your doll. To start making the bodice of your doll, you're going to hot glue a piece of ribbon into the center back of your doll. Then you're going to wrap it over the first shoulder like so, and then around the back again, and then back to the front and over the other shoulder, and you'll glue it in back. Make sure to trim off the excess ribbon, and then finish securing with hot glue. I'm wrapping the fringe trim around the doll's waist, and only gluing one side so that then when I pull it tight, I can trim off the excess fringe trim without having to pull it off the doll. As you can see, I've trimmed off the excess fringe trim, and now I'm going to finish gluing the skirt by gluing this part to the back of the doll. As you can see, I've cut a couple of small pieces of fringe trim for the sleeves of the doll. I'm cutting the trim because it was a little bit long for sleeves. As you can see, different thicknesses of sleeves can be used for different looks. To add a little bit of contrast to the doll, I'm going to add a gold sash by using a small gold ribbon and gluing it at the shoulder and the hip. Here are the two dolls. This one has a thin orange ribbon which was wrapped around and as you can see this one has a gold sash. Now I'm going to glue a small bead for the bun of the head. To paint the hair, I took the head off so that no paint would get on the dress. If you don't have paint, you can also use Sharpie to do the hair. But once you're done coloring it, it's time to put on the acrylic gem. And that just goes on the front of the bun. Your doll is finished. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.